Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. Today is June the 7th, 2018, and um, I have one of my pepper plants here. Uh, it's in a container. Um, the container is uh, one of the um, ones you can get from the Walmart bakery. Um, it has the frosting in it. So um, we bought some of the containers after they were empty from Walmart and I put a pepper in it. I also have some peppers growing in uh, a kitty's swimming pool that has holes in the bottom of it for drainage. And I'm going to show you this here real quick. It has all the blooms in it. There's even more blooms on the other ones. Hold on a moment here. I'll show you. See these in here. I'm in the get out of the way here. You can see them. My shadow is in the way. And I also have some uh, basil and parsley in here too. Over there. And what I'm going to be showing you today is how I feed my peppers with sea magic. Now, um, I've already mixed some of the tomato tone, uh, the Epsoma tomato tone. I'll have links down below for the plant foods I use. Um, I put in a half of a teaspoon of the Epsom tomato tone in here and then I also put in one teaspoon of Epsom salt and I mixed it all in with the soil with my little rake and I'm going to be feeding here with the sea magic and I'm going to be dumping it over the leaves too because it'll take it up in. Sea magic is an organic product. It's made from seaweed and what I've noticed with it is I've noticed higher yields and I've noticed quicker blooming with them and it just seems to make the plants grow faster it also helps with like uh, different plant diseases and stuff and um, it also helps with certain pests like flea beetles to keep the flea beetles off. I've noticed that too. It does help with that. So um, I feed my plants with Sea Magic once every two weeks. You can do two to three, but I do mine every two weeks. And it's the same way um, when you feed your plants in the ground. I did a video on that. Now I do that one a little bit different. You don't want to feed your plants in containers like you feed your plants in the ground. Um, you'll actually burn them. You'll burn the root systems on them if you feed your plants in your contain in your containers um, like you would feed your plants in the garden. So I'll put a link down below in the description for how I feed my peppers in the ground versus how I feed them here. One of the biggest things that you don't want to do is overfeed your plants, especially when they're in containers, because the container is like confined, so um, it's easier to overfeed them. So when these set fruit and they start giving, I'll come back with another video and I will show you how to harvest your fruit. Now, for the um, tomato tone, you want to feed them with the tomato tone every 14 days. And you want to make sure that you water your plants very well after you feed them. Because if you don't, you can burn the root system. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, you can leave them below and I'll try and answer them for you. Please don't forget to hit that little notification button. I'll tell you when I put a new video on. Thank you for watching and hope you have a nice day. Bye.